That's it, Stan. We'll have that one over here. Huh? Right you are, Mr. Jones. <laughs> hey, looks like Little Red Tractor's looking forward to this concert of yours. Just glad to be able to do my bit for the village, Stan. Uh-huh. Probably get your picture in the paper, too. What exactly are you going to do with the money from the ticket sales? Yes, um, well, I... <laughs> Well, come along, Stan. That stuff's not going to climb on stage by itself, is it? Excuse me, Stan. Um, hello? Well, I... But I, I mean... Now, now hold on. You listen to me. He, hello? Hello? Oh, this is a disaster. Bad news? They're pulling out. Heavy chicken say they can't play my concert after all. Oh, dear. All that hard work for nothing. Oh, that lovely money gone. Well, I suppose I'd better start getting the gear back into Little Red Tractor's trailer. <laughs> Hang on. You've heard Walter and his band. I bet they'd love to do the concert for you. Well, they're not exactly in the same league as Heavy Chicken, are they? Well, I reckon just as many people round here would like to come and hear them play. Well... Uh, well, all right, Stan. Let's see what Walter has to say. Hello, Stan. Hello, Little Red Tractor. Hi, Nicola. Is Walter about? Haha. <laughs> I think that answers my question. He found an old generator at the scrapyard and he's trying to get it going. Not having much luck, though. I think the engine's had it. Uh, Walter, how would you and Nicola fancy doing a concert? You what? Mr Jones was going to put on a concert in his barn. Yeah, I know. Heavy Chicken. I've been looking forward to that. Yes, well, Heavy Chicken have let him down. I said you might be willing to take their place. Me? Us? Oh, that would be great, Stan. Oh, yeah, Rocky Water and the Wolverines are going to gig again. Does Stumpy know? Not yet. I thought I'd ask you first. But we'll go and ask him right now. Oh, and I tell you what, I hear Mr Turvey's quite handy with a keyboard. Shall I ask him too? You betcha! Hmm, now... I wonder if this goes in... <laughs> oh. uh, Mr Jones? Mr Jones? Ah! <laughs> I didn't hear you there! The, the noise from the speakers! Skip Shutter from High Magazine. Sorry! I said I'm from High Magazine. I've come to take some pictures. Pictures? Of me? Of course. And you could even take one or two of the concert. Yes. So perhaps we could start with a few pictures of the barn before the crowds arrive. Yes, yes, of course, Mr Shutter. Snap away. Well, let's hope Stumpy's at... Wow! Stumpy, are you all right? <laughs> Never better. Well, that's a relief, because you're needed at Mr Jones's concert. Me? Uh, but Come uh... on, let's put Nipper back on his wheels and I'll tell you all about it. So, uh, what time will the band be arriving, Mr Jones? The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the band, you say? That's right, the band. The band that's coming to play a concert here. Oh, that band. <laughs> yes. They'll be here any moment, I should think. <laughs> Perhaps some pictures of the farm while we're waiting? Uh, yes, all right, then. Dad's going to be a rock star. Yeah! Come on, Stan, let's get rehearsing. What are we waiting for? Uh, your keyboards. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a bit carried away. Just exactly when do you expect the band to arrive, Mr Jones? No, not for a while yet. Um, um, oh, hang on, this looks like a band. This way, over here. Give me mean and moody. Give me... They are there. No one. This way, Mr. Shutter. No one. Well, I think this concert is going to be quite a success, Tim. Except. Except what, Mr. Jones? I've got a photographer from High Magazine here. I think he might be a little disappointed when he finds out Heavy Chicken have cancelled. Oh, I think he'll be fine when he hears Rockin' Walter and the Wolverines. <laughs> Sounds like Little Red Tractor thinks so, too. Yes. Stan, 
Isn't it about time little Red Tractor went back to Gosling Farm? There won't be room for him here in the barn when the concert starts. What? You mean... That's right, Stan. Now, if you could move him, chop, chop. Come on, little Red Tractor. Better get you home. And that's playing in the band. Yep. Right, Mr. Jones, time for a few shots of the band. Ah, yes. I'd be meaning to tell you that, um, that, uh, that, that I'd like a couple of pictures of me with my tractor. Local farmer rocks the village sort of thing. Excuse me. Thomas? Thomas! Yes, Uncle Jasper? Could you mind the ticket office for me for a little while? OK. Nervous? Who, me? Nervous? <clears throat> Never. OK? A one, two, a one, two! You clap your hands, you stomp your feet, you turn the key and you feel that motor beat. I'm a garage man, I've got petrol in... Right, Mr. Shutter, snap away! Back a bit, Mr. Jones, back a bit. Uh, a bit further, just a bit... Garage! The, the electricity! Who put, who put the lights in? What's Who's going on? the lights in? I'm sure Mr Jones didn't mean to be rude, little red tractor. Walter? Nicola? I thought... I mean, aren't you supposed to be on stage? Yeah, we were. Mr Jones and Big Blue cut off the electricity supply. It won't be reconnected for ages. So he asked us to come and ask you to come and collect the equipment. We won't be needing it now. Oh, but that's just terrible. And you were sounding really good, too. Yeah. That noise he's making, it sounds like... like that old generator of yours, Dad. The generator, of course. That'd give us enough power for the concert. Nah, it's no good. I tried earlier. It's not working. Well, we can have another go at fixing it, can't we? OK, let's see if that does anything. See, like I said, it's not working. I think there is a way to get this to pump out some power. That's it. A couple more inches. Now to couple Little Red Tractor to the generator. Right, all done here. And all done here. OK, Little Red Tractor, let's get ready to rock. What's going on? The electricity. Well, looks like your concert's going to go on after all, Mr Jones. Stan and Little Red Tractor have fixed my old generator. Lovely. One more, please. And, and another. Uh, this time in profile, if you... Hang on. You're not Heavy Chicken. No, mate. We're Rocking Water and the Wolverines. Heavy Chicken cancelled. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you because I... Well... Oh, but this is wonderful! Yes, I know, I should have told you before, but... Uh, wonderful? <gasps> Much better story! Local band fills in at the last moment. The show must go on, sort of thing. Uh, Mr Wolverine, if you wouldn't mind. Mind what? Y get playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course! Rocking Walter and the Wolverines! Yeah, great to be here. And we'd like to kick off tonight's show with a song for someone without whom none of this would have been possible. Little Red Tractor, he's king of the field. And his job's done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, woo! Let's go! What a glorious day. Hello. What's that? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry. I, are you OK? Uh, I think so. You were going pretty fast there. Too fast, I know. I, I, I'm very late, you see. You'll never get there if you carry on riding around like that. But you're right. It's just that I'm supposed to be presenting the prizes at the Babblebrook Gazette's awards lunch. I have the prize money and a change of clothes. <laughs> but I overslept. Calm down. I'm sure you'll make it on time. Take the road past Heronwood Lake. It's a shortcut. That'll get you there much quicker. Oh, Stan, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Take care now. <laughs> Another one! Come on, 
water, my son. Look, I've got the magic touch. Well, I'm very pleased for you, but I haven't had a single bite all morning. Yeah! Well, when you got it, you got it! <laughs> I just... Bought another one. I know. Strange, where did that come from? Hey, you call something. Well done! <laughs> Very funny. I just wish I could catch a fish. Just one, that's all. I've got a bite. Here, you have two. Well done. It must have been the hat. Not a catch all day and then this hat arrives. I make a wish and voila, a bite. Nonsense, it's a coincidence. It's an old hat, that's all. Here, I'll prove it to you. I wish I was rich. See? Nothing. <sighs> You're right. Shame, though. Just a minute, little red tractor. What's that? Oh, no. This is Skip's jacket. It must have fallen off his sidecar. He's going to need it for the prize giving. I should have the newspaper's phone number at home. Let's get back and I'll give him a call. Let him know we've found his jacket. Here, what's this then? Oh, people leaving rubbish in the countryside. It's dreadful. It's money. And a lot of it. My wish. I wish I was richer. The hat. The hat. It is magic. I saw it first. Wait. This is silly. We can share the hat and we can share the wishes. No, 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 hold on a minute. In all the stories about wishes, you only get three. And we have already made two. Good point. You wished to catch a fish and I wished to be rich. Hmm. What a waste of a wish. Now, I wish... Shush! Don't waste it. We're going to have to be careful. Quite. And let's take the hat home, and then we can take our time to come up with one last good wish. Yeah! Something really fantastic! You haven't seen him? He should have arrived by now. I see. Well, I'll take a drive out by Heronwood Lake and see if I can find him. Bye! Oh, I do hope nothing has happened to him. He was in such a hurry. Yeah, uh, I'd like a large swimming pool, please. Yeah, yeah, in the shape of a guitar. Oh, you can? Lovely. Expensive? Ah, oh, yeah, don't worry. Money's not a problem. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to order a very big yacht, please. Oh. Well, have you got anything a little more expensive? Ah, that's more like it. Yeah, I'll take that one. My turn. I want to wear it. I found it, so I'm wearing it. Oh, stop! Give me that hat. Is it yours, Uncle Jasper? Well, yes, in a way. Can I wear it? No, no. It's a special hat, and no one is to wear it. Why can't we play with it? I was... don't speak. Let go of the hat. Why? It's magic, that's why. Magic? A magic hat? <clears throat> this has to be our secret. This is a special hat, and we think it has one wish left. So we have to be careful not to waste it. Wow, can I wish for a bike? No. <clears throat> Look. Wish I... for a swing. Can we wish for a computer? Quiet! No one is to wish for anything yet. We need to have to think. Now. I think you should go and play at Rose Cottage. I've got to go and see Walter. Oh, boy. Skip! Skip! There's no sign of him. Tire marks. And I'm pretty sure they belong to Skip's motorbike. We're on the right track, little red tractor. Come on, let's keep looking. But a swimming pool would be for everyone. Well, anyone could come and have a ride on my boat. I don't like boats, I get seasick. Okay. What about a wish for something we both like? I got it. Let's wish that I was a pop star. And how does that help me? Well, you could be my manager. We'd be able to have all we want, a swimming pool and a boat. That could work. Skip! Over here! Skip! Are you all right? Uh, oh, 
Uh, I, I think so. I, I was going a bit too fast and came off the road. Now, now I'm stuck. So I see. Oh, if I move forward, the, the bike begins to topple. And I can't go back either. We're going to need some help here, little red tractor. I don't think we can pull Skip out on our own. Oh! Oh, oh you do have a plan, don't you? Try not to worry. I'll call Walter and have him come over to give us a hand. So we're agreed. You become a pop star and I'll be your manager. Make sure you wish to be famous and rich. Got it. This is so cool. <laughs> give me the app. Don't make a mistake now. This is our last wish. Hold up. Hello. Oh, I stand. Really? Oh, I see. Yeah, that is an emergency. We'll be right over. What is it? That fella from the Babblebrook Gazette has had an accident on his motorbike and Stan needs our help. We'll have to make our wish later. Oh, no. Nicola's taken Sparky. And I left Big Blue at the farm. Never mind. We'll take Rusty. Do you think that's a good idea, Walter? Try not to move, Skip. I'm still as a statue. Where are they? We're going to need another rope and Sparky to help us. <laughs> Stan! I don't think we have a lot of time. But your car always breaks down. Not always. Thank goodness you're here. Right, back Sparky up. And no, we'll... Sparky, I'm afraid. We came in my car. But Little Red Tractor will never be able to pull Skip free on his own. <laughs> This is a real emergency, Walter. We may have to use the hat. You're right. It's a sensible thing to do. Don't worry, Stan. We won't need Little Red Tractor or Sparky. Why? We have a magic hat. Stand aside a and we'll... A magic hat? This is no time for games. This is an emergency. You found my hat. Your, Your hat? A hat? You didn't find a silver briefcase as well, did you? The briefcase? Mm. Yeah, we found it. Can I get some help here? I think we may have been a bit foolish. Yeah, isn't magic. Stan! We'll have to try and manage alone, little red tractor. You'll need to pull with all of your strength. Let's go! Heave! Hurry! Come on, little red tractor. Just a little bit more now. <gasps> Good. A bit more. Oh. Well done, everyone. Oh. oh, how can I ever thank you? Oh, and you found my hat and briefcase. Oh. oh, what a relief. And your jacket. I found your paper and they're happy to wait for you, so you don't need to rush. Thank you so much. And well done, you two. Thanks for your help. What was all that about magic? Oh, nothing. There's no such thing as magic. Oh, I don't know. I can think of one little red tractor who is definitely magic. <laughs> Oops! Tickles, does it? It's going to tickle more if you can't keep still. Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. What are you doing? Giving his engine a good clean. A clean engine is a happy engine. But it would seem that it tickles. You know what today is, don't you? No. What? What happened exactly one year ago today? I have no idea. <laughs> Keep still. It's Little Red Tractor's birthday. We finished restoring him one year ago today. Did I now? Yes. We should have a birthday party. And presents. <laughs> True, but we have chores to do first. But after the chores? Everyone should have a party on their birthday. I think a party is a great idea, but let's make it a surprise, OK? Great! A Shh! It's supposed to be a surprise, silly. Great! A party! Now, I have work to do, so... Leave it to us, Stan. We'll organise everything. It's a deal. Come on, we have work to do. Then we can think about your birthday. See you later, you two. Let's see if Mum will make a cake. And we'll need one candle too, a big one. Oh, get me down! Oh, why do they 
these things always happen to me. Uh, oh, that's better. It's stopped. Oh, I can see Gosling Farm from here. You all right, Stumpy? Don't think you should be playing on the sails. I'm not playing. I was cleaning the windows when the sails started up and knocked me off my ladder. Just you hang on there. I have an idea. Well, I'm hardly going to be moving, Stan. Now, I'm going to need you to hold absolutely still, little red tractor. You mustn't move an inch. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that there. I'm going to fix the ladder into the trailer to give us some extra height, and then you can climb down, OK? OK, but hurry! Hold still, little red tractor. Where you go, Stumpy? Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Stan. You too, little red tractor. <laughs> I don't know anyone who has as many accidents as you. <laughs> I do have my moments, don't I? Oh, where's my hat? There. Good as new. Ah, lovely. Peace and quiet. A perfect place for a spot of fishing, eh, Big Blue? <laughs> no. Hmm. Where shall I sit? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a daisy chain for a little red tractor. I've finished the cake mix. Anyone want to clean out the bowl? Me! Oh, no. Listen to that. He's going to scare off the fish. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, Dumpy, you're going to break your neck on that thing. Nipper's not a thing. You don't call Big Blue a thing, do you? Nah, but Big Blue is useful and works hard for his keep. Well, Nipper's useful too. He makes a lot of noise and throws you all over the place. Ah, well, I, I, I'll give you that. Anyway, I came by to tell you it's Little Red Tractor's birthday. Ow! That's my hat! What is it now? My hat! You just gave it to the fish! You are the most accident-prone person I have ever met. And if you ask me, having a birthday for a tractor is really quite silly. Oh, I'm sure I can find him a present of some kind. <coughs> I said I would get him something. What now? Uh, you couldn't catch my hat for me first, could you? I came here to catch fish, not a hat. Hello. What have you got there? Food for the... You know what? We can't set it all up with you and Little Red Tractor here. He'll find out about the... You know what? Tell you what, I'll take him around to the garage. I need some wrapping paper anyway. Great. We'll set up the... You, you know, know what? what? One last short trip and then we can finish for the day. Come on, little red tractor, let's go! Faster, Nipper! The wind's drawing my hat! Look out! Oh, no! Phew! Well done! I don't know how you missed him. Stumpy? Are you all right? Stumpy? Stumpy? <laughs> Afternoon, Stan. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I was drying my hat. Oh, I've lost it again. There it is, Stumpy. One of these days, Stumpy, you are going to do yourself a mischief on that quad bike. I know. I've already had quite a day for excitement. Listen, I've got Amy and Ryan waiting at the farm. We're going to have a surprise birthday tea for Little Red Tractor. Why don't you and Nipper join us? Oh, 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 we'd love to. I have to pop to the garage. Meet me at Gosling Farm in half an hour. Mm. Oh, nearly closing time. Oh, just in time, Stan. We're just about ready to close. Glad I caught you. I need some wrapping paper. Mm. No problem. Uh, someone's birthday. Actually, it's Little Red Tractors. 
I finished rebuilding him a year ago today and the kids want to have a surprise party. Oh, what a good idea. Happy birthday, little red tractor. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't try to sing, little red tractor. I'll get you a wrapping paper and I might have a little present for the birthday boy. Is it your birthday, Stan? No, it's his, but don't get him singing again. Don't listen to him. Happy birthday. Here, have the paper on the house. And here's a small gift from Nicola and me. Well, thank you both. Why don't you join us? Oh, Stan, we'd love to come. I sh uh, stand and chat, but uh, we're going into Babblebrook tonight to see a band. Well, we'd best be off too. Come on, let's go. Happy birthday, little red, red tractor. tractor! Happy birthday. I made it myself. And we have a cake for you, too. It looks just like you. Now it's time for my present. Stumpy, there's a gift from Walter and Nicola there. Why don't you unwrap it? Oh, my. Look here. Your favourite. What is it? You can unwrap it for Little Red Tractor and then you'll find out. I'll fix these on for you. Thought I might find you all here. Come and join the party. Uh, Stumpy, uh, I was a bit grumpy with you this morning, so I brought you a little gift to say sorry. Huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, thank you. This should keep me out of trouble. <laughs> and this is a little something for the birthday boy from Big Blue and myself. Well, that's very thoughtful. Thank you. Look, a new towing rope for your toolbox. Happy birthday, little red tractor! Please don't sing! <laughs> <laughs> it's all right for some. We're going to get the old maypole up today, Patch. How do you fancy giving me a hand? Uh, Paul. OK, you stay here. Little Red Tractor and I can manage. So, what's this maple thing for, then? It's to welcome in the spring. We do it every year. It's planted in a field and then we tie ribbons to it. And dance around it. It's great. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird to me. Hiya, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hello, you lot. Come to help with the maypole, eh, Leo? Uh, yeah. I think so. We've been telling Leo all about them. Not sure I'll be doing any dancing, though. Oh, you will. It's dead easy. Don't reckon it's my sort of dancing, though. I do a bit more like this. Oh, look at that. The old maypole's gone rotten over the winter. Oh, there mightn't be any dancing at all. Oh, no. Still, we'll just go and find another. Come on. Let's go to Tawny Owl Wood. We'll find something suitable there. Brilliant! Yeah. OK, let's get looking. Now, what we want is a nice, long, straight piece of wood. Not a living branch or anything. Can't take the living stuff. Bet I find it. Bet I do. Oh, the spring it is a-coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a That's not very rock and roll, Dad. Well, no, but I, I'm practising for the May Day celebrations tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, the spring it is a coming in, a coming in. Yeah, you're right. It's not very rock and roll. Whoa, spring along a whopper bopper ding a dang a dum. <laughs> That's rock and roll. Uh, Stan, how about this? Would this do? Well done, Leo. Just the job. A dead tree. You'll have this down in no time, won't you, little red tractor? OK, stand back, you lot. Steady as you go. A good push and we'll have it. Tim! Oh! Good, 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 good
Now to strip it of its branches and plant it in the field. Uncle Jasper, I don't... Not just now, Thomas. I'm making sure my stall's all present and correct. Yes, I'm the something Should you... make a pretty penny if the May Day celebrations can't beat May Day for a chance to make a spot of money. <laughs> my cheese went like hotcakes last them. Um, last... Yeah. Oh, for goodness. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Uncle Jasper. Remember the bonfire you made just before Christmas? Oh. I use the legs to get the bonfire started. Yes, you said you wouldn't be needing them. How wrong I was. <laughs> Just have to find something else. I'll bet Stan could help out. He usually has that sort of thing knocking about at Gosling Farm. There. One maypole all ready for May Day. No, it isn't. We need some ribbon, And we ought to paint it, too. Now that's what I call a good idea. I've got all the stuff we need back at the farm. Come on. All right then, Elsie, I will. Go and play somewhere else, she says. <laughs> i got to rehearse, don't I? Well, well, perhaps she's got a point. Might be better to rehearse together, like, and, and me and Walter ain't played it since last spring. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in the spring it is. Oh, the spring it is. Stumpy, watch out! Watch out! Are you all right? Hmm. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> never better. <laughs> oh, sorry, Stan. Should have been looking where I was going. On my way to Walters to do a spot of rehearsing. You know, for the May Day celebrations. Good stuff. But I don't think driving along with that thing on the handlebars was the best idea in the world. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> and now Nipper's... <clears throat> Nipper's stuck! <clears throat> Looks like another job for you, little red tractor. Good day to you, ladies. Lovely day for it, hmm? Grass tasting nice today, is it? <laughs> oh, that was close. Could have given you a nasty scratch, Big Blue. Stupid place to leave a pole. Ah, a pole! Just the very thing we're looking for. No need to bother Stan now. I need to save someone else crashing into it, too. Right, Stumpy. We'll soon have Nipper out now. Steady as you go, Stan. Ooh, that's it, little red tractor. He's coming. Nice one, really red tractor. Kids. There you go. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> thanks, little red tractor. Right. There. <laughs> and this time, make sure you can see where you're going. Oh, I will, Stan. Don't want to see the inside of another hedge today. <laughs> right. Come on, you lot. We've got a maypole to paint, remember? Yippee! Oh, yeah! Aha! Here they are. You can't go maypole dancing without some nice bright ribbons. Stan, can we use these paintbrushes? Yep, just the job. How about red? Or blue? No. A maypole has to be white. Here we are. Right. Let's get that maypole painted and quick. It'll be time for your tea pretty soon. It was just there. It can't have been. It was. Maybe it fell over. Maybe the cows decided to play with it. <laughs> I don't think so, Leo. Cows aren't usually that interested in games. Well, it's gone. We'll just have to go and find another one. Afraid not, Ryan. It's getting late. Then what about May Day? It won't be proper without a maypole. I'll think of something. I hope. But right now, it's time I was getting you back for your tea. Well, we've got a lovely day for it. Uncle Jasper? But now, Thomas, this requires a little concentration. But, Uncle Jasper, I thought there was supposed to be a maypole. Whoa! Oh, steady, Nipper. <laughs> Hello there, young Thomas. Morning, Mr. Jones. Hmm. He's concentrating. Oh. <laughs> uh, Walter here yet. Can't do the springtime song without... With... <laughs> Hang on. Where's the maypole? Stan said he'd planted one here yesterday. 
He was going to paint it and tie ribbons to it and all. Said it was here. Yeah, Mr. Jones, you haven't seen it, have you? The Maypole. The, uh, ma the, the, the Maypole. The Maypole? I... Ah. <laughs> Uncle Jasper, where did you get those new table legs from? Well, I... 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 Oh, dear. Something the matter, Mr. Jones. Stan, I... 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 I don't know where to begin. I've done something rather stupid. You, Mr. Jones? You, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, you know that maypole? Yes. One minute it was here, next minute it was gone. Well, it's back here again. It's, um, <coughs> in four little bits. I didn't realise what it was. I, I, I'm sorry, Stan. Very, very sorry. I've spoilt everything. Oh, I'm sure we can think of something. <laughs> I think Little Red Tractor may have the answer. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in, oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in, oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. <laughs> I just can't understand it, Stan. The scarecrow seems to keep the birds away, but every morning I come by and still my crops are damaged. Maybe it isn't the birds. No, it's the birds, all right. I think they wait until I'm not looking. I was out with my torch last night, couldn't spot any of them. Last night? The birds don't... Stan! Stan! Are you there? Sounds like Ryan and Amy. Hello. Where are you two off to, then? Mum's taking us to Bubblebrook to see the lights. Already? But the autumn's hardly over. Guess who's turning on the lights? Hmm, now, let me see. Boombox Hammer! Is that a person? Sounds like a toolbox. Oh, Stan, he's the best. Don't you ever listen to the charts? We thought you'd like to come with us. Well, I'm sure Bing Bang... Boombox Hammer! Well, I'm sure Boom What's-His-Name is great, but I have work to do. Thanks for asking, though. OK. We'll try and get you a signed picture. See ya! Bye, Stan! I must be getting old. I don't recognise any of the pop stars these days. You know, Stan, I think I may have just had a brilliant idea. Well, I'll leave you to it, Mr Jones. I have to pick up Little Red Tractor from the garage. Need a lift? No, thank you. The walk will do me good. OK, you pesky crop-eating birds. Ryan and Amy have given me an idea. Hello. Seems a bit quiet. What's a telescope doing here? Stan, how are you? Good. What's with the telescope? Didn't you see it? See what? A UFO. A spaceship? Yeah. There were flashing lights in the sky last night. I saw them clear as day. I think you're going potty. That's funny. That's what Nicola said. Why do you think a spaceship would choose to come to Beach Garage? Maybe they needed petrol. <laughs> <laughs> you, won't, you won't be laughing when I'm in the papers. The first man to photograph a real UFO. Little Red Tractor's all done, and he's running better than ever. Thanks, Nicola. He's round the back. Hey! Very funny, Nicola. Sorry, Dad. You really think your spaceship will be back tonight? If it is, I plan to get a good photograph of it. Thanks, Nicola. Call me if you see anything, Walter. Oh, sure, yeah. Come on, then. Work to do. <laughs> Hi there. I thought you were all in Babblebrook for the lights. It was cancelled, I'm afraid. Boobox Hammer's got a sore throat. So he couldn't make it. And then the mayor tried to turn the lights on, and they didn't work. Oh, you do look down in the dumps. Let's see if I can't think of something to cheer you up. But you're not a pop star, Stan. And you don't have any lights. True, but I may have a surprise up my sleeve. Dear, the bulb must have gone. I'll never find anything in here without any light. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I'm full of bright ideas today. <laughs> right, 
All we have to do is find those other lights. Ah, here we go. Oh, only one light left. I wonder where the others went. It's getting darker. Oh, well, we'll, um... Hey, hold on. They may have some at the garage. Come on, little red tractor. We'll have to be quick. Walter will be closing soon. Well, that's me all set. You're not really going to sit out here in the cold all night, are you, Dad? I have my flask, Nicola, and my sarnies, and I shall be fine. It's not every day you get to see a UFO. True. Most people never see them at all. Hello. Back so soon? I was hoping you might have some Christmas lights. I want to make a surprise for Ryan and Amy. Oh, you won't believe it, Stan. We sold the last lot this afternoon. Oh, dear. I was hoping to get some this evening. Mr Jones bought them. Five boxes. All we had. Five boxes of lights? Whatever for? Search me. He seemed very excited, though. He's back. It's back! What is? The UFO! And you didn't believe me! Poppy, you said! Look! See for yourself! How strange. It's a UFO! I knew it! I've never seen anything like it. It seems to be coming from somewhere over by Beach Farm. Wow! You're right! I'm going to investigate. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and see what's going on. Come on, little red tractor. Don't be a scaredy cat. See you later. Oh, let me camera. Oh, oh the quick. Well, I need to get a photo. Hey. <laughs> now, that's funny. That's exactly what happened last night. Ah, now that seems to have done the trick. Are you there, Mr Jones? Back here, Stan, by the gate. This may seem like a silly question, but what are you doing? Told you about the birds eating my crops Well, I came up with a wizard way to stop them. I can't wait to hear. Well, the scarecrow was working fine during the day, but at night, nothing. So, I remember the children talking about the Christmas lights and thought... That you'd use the lights to keep the birds off your crops through the night. Precisely. And as you can see, no birds. Mr Jones? Yes? Birds don't come out at night. They sleep. Sleep? Ah, y yes. Um, they sleep. Of course they sleep, but... but oh, but, but not owls, Stan. They are awake at night eating my crops. Mice. Owls don't eat crops. They eat mice. Ah, so, I am just lighting up my field for no reason. I'm afraid so. Although it does look lovely. Walter at the garage is convinced your light show here is a UFO. What a fool I am. To think I bought five boxes of lights. Not to worry. I'll buy them off you. I'll have a good use for them. It's a deal, Stan. As, um, <clears throat> as long as you don't tell anyone about uh, the birds and the night thing. Hmm? It may be too late for that, Mr Jones. You've lit up the whole neighbourhood. I... I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I had a hard job believing it myself. I've never seen a whole field lit up like a Christmas tree before. I'll never forget it. Neither will I. I took 36 pictures of it. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Hard not to with all those lights in the field, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't laugh. Mr Jones was quite upset when I told him birds sleep through the night. Well, at least they can sleep now. I've told Amy and Ryan to come over later and we'll have a turning on ceremony and then roasted chestnuts over a real fire. There. All done. Good. Thanks for your help, Walter. Everything is set. Hi, Stan. Wow, look at all the lights. My, you have been busy. We're all ready for the turning on ceremony. Yeah, switch them on. Actually, we're going to leave that job to our celebrities, Ryan and Amy. All together now? Three, two, one, go! Wow, it looks great! Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. Now, 
Who wants roast chestnuts? Me! Oh, I nearly forgot. I have one more surprise. What is it? Come on, you two. One more little job for our celebrities. Flick this switch here. Who needs boombox hammer when we have our own shining star? Good morning, little red tractor. I won! Yeah, the champion! You never said it was a race. Is he here yet? Who, little red tractor? Of course he is. Look over there. No, Stan. Mr Jones's nephew. <laughs> Thomas? Yes, he should be here. Little Red Tractor and I were waiting for you so we could all go and meet him together. I hope he's good at running. Bet he's better than you. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go over to Beach Farm and find out. Come on, climb aboard. Unless you want to run all the way to Beach Farm, that is. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go! <laughs> Stan should be here soon with Ryan and Amy. I'm sure you'll like them. They can show you around Bubble Brook and... Bubble Brook smells. I want to go and play on the computer. Oh, very well, if that's what you want. I don't know. Children of today or computers and mobile televisions, not like the old days. Hello there, Mr Jones. Is he here yet? If you mean Thomas, oh yes, he's here. Thomas! To be honest with you, Stan, I don't think Thomas likes the countryside very much. He's lived in the city all his life, you know. And now that my sister and her husband have moved out here, well, I, I think it's going to take him a while to settle down. Don't you worry, Mr Jones. Me and Little Red Tractor will show him round. I'm sure he'll soon get to like it. Well, I hope so. Oh, where is Thomas! There are some people here to see! That computer's rubbish. I wanted to play speed bikes, but there's only boring car games on it. Speed bikes? It's a computer game. You race bikes, and it's great. Really fast. Oh, into bikes, are you, Thomas? Yes, but I don't expect there's anything like that around here. Stumpy's got a quad bike. Well, perhaps we could take you to see him. We're going to take some food to the cows, and then after that we need to drop some corn off at Stumpy's windmill. Want to come? All right. And you can have a ride in Little Red Tractor's trailer. Hop on then, Thomas. All aboard. Oh, my sweatshirt! It's got dirt all over it! Just a little grime and... Uh, and it'll come out in the wash. I suppose so. There was an old miller who lived on a hill, a happy old feller who loved his old mill, and if he's not left it, then he'll be there still! A mill in his flare Stumpy! Will you stop that racket? Racket? That was singing, that was! Singing? <laughs> is that what you call it? And what are you up to, anyway? <laughs> it's this here back wheel. Tracking's a bit off. It's gone all wobbly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Nipper. So I'm sorting it out. After all, I wouldn't want to come a cropper when I'm out on him, would I? Oh, no. That'd never do. Nope. Safety first. That's what I always say. First time I've heard you say it. There was an old miller... Stumpy! <laughs> Here we are, then. Are you going to come and help us feed the cows, Thomas? I don't like cows. <laughs> come on, Thomas. They won't bite. The only thing they're interested in biting is their lunch. Hey, Thomas! You're not frightened of a silly old cow, are you? Me? Frightened? <laughs> come on, Thomas. They're really gentle. Look, she likes it. Hey, I did it! I mean... Come on, you lot. Time we were getting off to Stumpy's. The man with the quad bike. Brilliant. 
Operation back to Little Red Tractor, Thomas. Wait for me. Whoa! Uh. Hello there, Stan. Good to see you, Stan. You too, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> oh, and who's this young fella then, eh? Nope, don't tell me. You're the new arrival, Mr. Jones' nephew. <laughs> That's right, Stumpy. Oh, I expect Mr. Jones is showing you a high old time. You're talking of high. What's that smell? Me, a feathered some cow stuff. We were having a race. I reckon Thomas might have won if he hadn't. Uh, you're quite quick. Thanks. A bit smelly, though. Stumpy. Now then, how about a slice of homemade cake? And maybe I can find you some of Stumpy's old clothes for you to put on while I give yours a quick soak. Uh, no thanks. Well, how about giving me a hand to get the corn out of the trailer, Stumpy? Right you are, Stan. Uh, are you the man with the quad bike? <clears throat> what, you mean nipper? Oh, that's right. <clears throat> you like bikes then, do you? Yeah. Well, perhaps you ought to come and take a look at nipper. Yes, please. There he is. <laughs> Quite a beauty, isn't he? Yeah. Brilliant! Thanks, Mr Stumpy. Thanks a lot. Oh, no! It's running away! Mr Stumpy, your bike! It's running away! Help! Mr Stumpy! Thomas, something... To... Nipper! Oh, oh, my word! Stop! <laughs> Don't worry, Stumpy. Little Red Tractor will catch up with him. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Well, at least he stopped. Come on, you! Well, Thomas, what happened here? I don't know. Nipper just... he rolled off. I tried to chase him, and now he's stuck. Stuck, is he? Oh, it's no use. He's well and truly stuck. We'll just have to move that tree. Move the tree? How? Little Red Tractor will give it a go, won't you? He'll never lift that tree. Little Red Tractor's a lot tougher than he looks. Stand clear, Thomas. Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. It's moving! Come on, Little Red Tractor! Hurry, Little Red Tractor. The road! Come on! <laughs> Nipper! Where are... Oh, quick, Stumpy. Get him out. I don't know how much longer Little Red Tractor can hold the tree. And that rope's going to break. Stay back! Come on, Nipper! That's it! That was brilliant! You're a great little attractor! Now, Thomas, what actually happened? Stan, it, it, it's all my fault. I, me and my fiddling. I, I must have loosened the brake cable when I was fixing that there wheel, and Nipper must have slipped off the axle supports. <laughs> Still, no harm done. Nice work, little red tractor. <laughs> what, Thomas? Grief, what do you have? We went to see Stumpy and Nipper and ran away, but little red tractor saved him. We did lots of stuff, and Ryan and Amy are my new friends, and we had to ride on Nipper. And what is that smell? That'll be me. Well, cows, actually. Cows are great. Have you ever stroked a cow, Uncle Jasper? They're really big, but they're brilliant. But not as brilliant as Little Red Tractor. He's the best. Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Stian. Good morning. Brought some things for the sale, I see. Yes, although you seem to have a lot here already. You never can have too much, Dan. In fact, Stumpy has a few old board games he said I could have, and the Turvey family offered a few bits and bobs, too. Uh, no, I think. 
Well, that's good, isn't it? But they need picking up, you see, and I, uh, well, <laughs> as you can see, I'm up to my eyes. Okay, I'll do it now. Stan, you are a marvel. Thank you so much. I'm getting tired of this. Every time I think you're fixed, you break down again. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Please work! Everything all right, Walter? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. I thought maybe you'd broken down again. No, 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 no. no I'm a mechanic, Stan. Simple thing like a car couldn't fox me, eh? <laughs> no, I was... I was just checking the wheels, you see. Uh, three and four. <laughs> well, yeah, four. Spot on. Well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Right. You have one last chance. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> Save me a trip. No problem. Mr Jones is certainly going to town with his garage sale. You've never seen so much stuff. Oh, you know him. He never does anything by halves. <laughs> right, one more stop at Rose Cottage and then I might have a look round the sale myself. See ya. Bye, Stan! Why don't we have one more go to get you started? Hmm? For me? Still here, Walter? Uh, so, no, I'm just, I'm just counting the headlights, you see. One and uh, two. Well, there you go. Phew. <sighs> Just as I expected. Are you sure you're all right, Walter? I'm enjoying the country air stand, that's all. <laughs> right, that does it. I've had enough of this stupid car. I'm going to call Nicola and we'll tow this old wreck straight to the scrapyard where it obviously belongs. Just a minute. Mr Jones is having a garage sale. Why not tow it there? Someone may have use for it. You know, that's a good idea. Well, I have another pickup to do, so I'll see you there. <laughs> see you later. Hi there, Amy. Is he for the garage sale? Yep, and I have two more. Hello, Ryan. Don't tell me Ted is going to the sale too. Yes, he is. You're far too old for a teddy bear, Ryan. He's not a teddy bear. He's an action bear. I don't have to take the bear, you know, Ryan. <sighs> no, it's OK. I am a bit too old for a stuffed bear. I'll make sure he goes to a good home. Right, time I was off. Maybe I'll see you at the sale later on. Bye, Stan. Bye, bear. <laughs> Uh, you can't leave that there. I'm having a garage sale. Exactly. Now you have a real bargain. I've decided to sell my car. Could fetch a pretty penny, so you want to put it where it could be clearly seen. Well, I do have space right at the back there, over by the silo. We'll never get sparky for all that stuff. Tell you what, we'll leave it right here at the front. You'll see. People will be flocking in. They love a bargain. But I... No, 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 no. Save your thanks. I'm sure you'll be able to do me a similar favour one day. Right, Dad. It's all yours. I've got to get back to work. No worries. Thanks, Nicola. But no one is going to buy this. It's junk. Not junk. Just a beautiful old car that needs a little tender care. And a new door. Nice colour, though. Hello. Everyone happy? I'll be happy when I see the back of that thing. What price should I ask for it, Stan? You want money for it? <laughs> Let me drop off this lot and I'll help you paint a sign. Where do you want it? Gnomes with garden accessories, board games on the table back there, and uh, what else? Oh, what a cute teddy bear. <laughs> Look. Oh, that reminds me of when I... Ah, well, anyway, and teddy bears with toys, please, Stan. OK, I'll leave the trailer in your barn, if that's all right. May want to buy a few things myself, and I can load up later. Please, I can do. Maybe 200? 50, then? Decided on a price yet? I was thinking 50, Stan. It's got to be one of the 50. 
or 20? You may be right there. 20! <laughs> and I'll throw in a fluffy dice. Yeah. <laughs> a bargain in any language. Right, let's paint up a sign. Ah, oh, there you are. Hi, Amy. What's the matter? You've been miserable ever since Dan left. Oh, nothing. It's your bear, isn't it? You didn't have to give him to the sale if you didn't want to. I know, but he's gone now, so that's it. No, it isn't. We can go and get him back. Come on, let's get Mum. Yeah, let's go and get him. A work of art. Well, let's hope it does the trick. Better leave it for a while to dry, eh? Don't leave that there. I don't want anyone thinking my beautiful house is for sale. Good point. I'll find somewhere in the sun where it can dry. Oh, I nearly forgot. There is something I need to do. See you later. Hang on, Stan. I'll come with you. Oh, hi there. What a delightful sale and so many bargains. I can't believe that lovely thing out there is so cheap. I'll take it. <laughs> you think so? Oh, my. Walter will be pleased. Utterly adorable. It takes all kinds, Stumpy. I can't believe anyone would call Walter's old wreck adorable. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Excuse me, but what do you think you're doing? I just pulled this tractor, but it's, it's g -g -g gone crazy. Bought my tractor? <laughs> Little Red Tractor is not for sale. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Calm down, little red tractor. There has been a mistake, I'm afraid. Here, great newsstand. Someone has bought my car. You put the for sale sign on little red tractor. Well, yeah, only while I was waiting for it to dry. Well, this poor chap thought he was buying little red tractor. Oh, oh, I'm all of a dither. Well, look on the bright side. You got this lovely bargain. Looking for anything in particular? A teddy bear. An action bear, actually. We donated it to the sale by mistake. I was hoping we could get him back. Oh, no bear, I'm afraid. Oh, we must have sold it. Maybe we can find another one. You can't replace action bear. Well, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, thanks. I think I'll go home. I don't care how much character it has, I bought the tractor. <laughs> well, it's got fluffy dice. Oh. Oh, now they are nice. Oh, yes, I do like these. Now, forget the car and the tractor, I'll buy them. Ah, Ryan, just the chap. I bought you a little present. I was thinking that he looked a bit lonely, so I bought him back for you. Oh, thanks, Dan. I can throw the car in with the fluffy dice, you know. <laughs> no, thank you. How about you, Stan? Looking for a bargain? I have my bargain, thank you, Walter. And he didn't cost me a penny. 